And this one is not adjustable. This one is adjustable to line up for the pin. And this one right here is adjustable for how much tension you're gonna put. You're basically wanna, gonna wanna keep your edges parallel as possible, but keeping in mind there's imperfections in your T-bar. And in fact, you know, we can see a slight imperfection here. So of course that foam is gonna match up to that seam. All right, all right. So next thing's next is, you know, we, we got the back rod. Back rod goes in right there. Don't force anything. You can see just, just taking it out is, is already dinked up. When we're inside, this, this is what we're looking at. Okay, you can see we're already hitting here, but I cannot lock it into place. I still have a ways to go. So this is gonna have to back down my pin bushing right there looks nice and happy. This is why you must take the covers off. And you can see it's loose as a goose, but to get the, you're gonna get your, you're gonna get it parallel across the top, parallel across the back. Once you get that, your rear, rear, rod, rear rod locked in. Okay, there's my rear rod, not locked in. There we go. Now my rear rod is locked in. There is no adjustment for that back here, by the way. Anyhow, um, we can see I still got a lot of angle and I got gap. Now to pull this thing down lower, you remove the shims right here and just put them in your toolbox. And to um, move it further away, you add shims, it makes it thicker. So put your gasket on. I waited for for a cool day. It's been raining most of the day. So um, I'm gonna clean up my T-bars and do the last of my adjustment. And like I said, make sure you get your, your locking lugs um, center inside here, center inside here. And then make sure that your pin is coming down straight into your bushing. Make sure your bushing's still in good shape and then adjust your lock tab. And then once everything's set, of course, before you lock it down, we're gonna keep a good solid eye on that front um, front center corner of the T-top. Take your time, don't rush it. Now, a lot of people are like, there's no way that I'm gonna spend $1,500 on, on T-tops. All right, well, first of all, I went with the Galaxy Glass. Um, uh, there we go. Uh, maybe if I put my finger now there. No, it's just not gonna. Uh, you can't make it out. But so this is the Galaxy Glass. A little bit of plastic there um, that didn't peel off so smooth. Um, these are DOT certified glass. Still under license. The guy that makes them has been making them for the last 30 years. This Corvette is 38 years old in August. So, um, got a good, um, good work history for him. If he's still producing them under license by GM, we're good to go. If you have a Firebird or a Trans Am with T-tops, he um, makes those too because, well, there's not a whole lot of Corvettes. And if you have an older Corvette, he does um, sell the back piece so that you can modify these onto your older Corvette. That's well, a good idea, it's keeping them in business. Uh, update on, on, the, on the bra, uh, the, the sticky tape pulled off. I'm not sure if I just didn't let it sit long enough. It didn't pull off on all of them, just this one. So um, I did clean it up really good with isopropyl alcohol. That being the case, it still popped off. So maybe I should have removed the headlight bezel cover and put them up underneath and then put the bezel up to give it some more strength. Um, I'll clean it again and I'll get some new 3M hook pile loop tape and try it one more time. But um, after that, I'm just gonna go back and use a really good weather adhesive or I'm gonna put it up underneath the bevel. The problem with putting it up under the bevel is, is if you put it up under the bevel, you have to, if you decide you wanna take the bra off because it's um, raining, 
Um, oh, darn, it came off on the front too. Ugh, frustrating. If you decide you want to take it off, then you have to take the, the headlight bevels off to take that off. So, trying to get away from that. But anyhow, so the T-tops are almost in. Still got to um, finish polishing out the vet. That little bit of haze right there is not shiny like this because even though there's a reflection coming from the tree, um, you just can't, there you go. You can see there's a little bit of scuff still in the paint, but try not to buff on it too much more because I'm starting to cut through the paint again. Anyhow, definitely the way to go. My other buddy, Paul, he got that one piece plastic, um, I don't know what you call that stupid top. And it's got the things that screw up and you pivot it. And um, anyhow, that, that one piece plastic target top, um, he was real happy with it for about the first year. And then the doggone thing leaked like a sieve. So being as we also have the seals built into this top, for for your windows um probably just better off to go with your stock t-tops if you're not gonna spend the money to get the glass t-tops then get yourself some fiberglass ones um, they're online cheap everywhere that one's off of my 76 corvette after uh, my kid broke my t-top i had to keep the water and stuff out but you know driving around like that for for six years seven years has been kind of frustrating <laughs> you know you always want to take them off and hide them before you get to work um, they were really expensive I haven't had a lot of money but you know Father's Day came around 4th of July came around I'm getting the Corvette back on the road and I really feel you know if you're gonna drive an old car like this you should a, keep it as stock as you possibly can. B, have it work as least as good as it did from the factory or better. Everything should work. And, you know, definitely you shouldn't get soaked in your car when it starts raining or you go through the car wash. Oh, look, there's the bunny. Yep, we got Farmer Jody's house here. We got chickens, we got bunnies, we got dogs. Ugh, who knows what's coming next? A goat? Who even knows? Yeah. That would be nice. It would help mow the lawn. Anyhow, there you go. So here's your first real good review on the Corvette replacement Galaxy Glass. And if you really want that mirrored look, that's great. But this is the same darkness of um, privacy glass that they're using on the Escalades and everything. And it, if you do look at it, it does have the DOT stamp. In North Carolina, they really, really clamp down on tinted glass people. You know, if you got tinted glass in your car, you must be a criminal, right? So having the DOT um, approved logo on it will definitely help keep you out of trouble and keep you out of court. And, you know, if you have to go to court, you're missing work. So if you're missing work, them T-tops are going to be expensive. So don't go with any of the other stuff. Just, just get yourself something right. And um, remember the measurements on the sheet. Those are important. And then remember, make sure your car is true and straight before you try to clamp these things down. If they're not, you're going to have to um, elongate the holes in, in the front pin lock to uh, make sure those pins are straight. Otherwise, as soon as you go to clamp these glasses down, you might put so much force on that that it ends up just snapping and breaking your brand new glass. So um, very important. Peace out, everybody. If you got your um, old sexy classic car, just keep dinking with it. Eventually you'll get it done. And um, hopefully we'll do, be driving back to work real soon. Um, do it on a cool day. Do it in the shade. Um, if you don't get it done, that's fine. Just get yourself some VizQueen and put it over the top. Put your tops back down or just put your car cover on it. Don't let your car get soaked. Otherwise, it will fill up with mold. And I've already had my, my, um, my fighting with um, 
El Guapo over that one. All right, later everybody.